Not all that glitters is gold. For thieves in Aransas Pass, it's copper that they're trying to cash in on. And Michelle Lorenzo found out it's the expense at some business owners in that community. Community members in Aransas Pass have been experiencing disruptions with their phone and internet services recently. Within the last week, people like Kyle Huynh, a manager of VIP Nail Salon, said they've had issues with their service provider, Frontier. I tried to call them and they just say oh, something wrong with the, the system. Something was definitely wrong. Frontier's property was hit by thieves four different times, costing them an estimated tens of thousands of dollars. The Aransas Pass Police Department says approximately 900 feet of fiber line had been cut and damaged. About 1,616 feet of copper strand was also stolen. Smaller businesses like the nail salon are paying a price too. When their internet went out, so did their card reading device. Just asking for my customer, can you go to the ATM and give some cash for me? Yeah, but somebody, they don't like to do that, and they just go out. The state of Texas has regulations in place for selling and buying copper and other metals. Officer Kamek also says when they're trying to track down a suspect, scrap yards are one of the first places they go to investigate. We could go to a scrap yard and tell them, hey, look, are you getting, what kind of cable have you got in within the past three weeks? Have you got any cable in? We can look at that, that cable and see... Does it match what's getting stolen here? Does the insides match what's getting stolen here? And the officer says scrapyards are required to keep a detailed record of who comes in and tries to sell. Reporting from Aransas Pass, Michelle Lorenzo, Chris 6 News.